This is a test of the emergency alert system. This test of the emergency alert system. So of the emergency alert system. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Bexar TX, Booster TX, El Paso TX, Harris TX, Hidalgo TX, Torrent TX, Travis TX, Valverde TX, and Web TX, beginning at 1.03 a.m. and ending at 1.18 a.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system. If this had been an actual emergency, you would have been given additional information. This is a test. No action necessary.
This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. people
8236CK Warrington. KWRE Warrington Troy This is a coordinated monthly test of the emergency alert system. Broadcasters in our area are testing the equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of emergencies. If this had been an actual emergency such as flooding, high winds, or a chemical spill, official messages would have followed this tone. This station serves the Sacramento Valley and Sierra Nevada Foothill counties. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. is a coordinated monthly test of the broadcast stations and cable television companies serving Mariposa, Merced, Madera, Fresno, Kings, and Tulare counties. Equipment that can warn you of a life-threatening emergency is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, such as severe weather, a 911 system failure, or other life-threatening condition, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Statewide required weekly required test of the emergency alert system originating from the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency, Harrisburg. This is only stations and cable systems of your area. Emergency alert system equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a tornado, flood, evacuation, toxic release, or any emergency that you, the public, should be timely alerted, official messages would have followed the alert tone. This station serves as a vital part of the Louisiana State Emergency Alert System. This concludes this test of the Emergency Alert System. Civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Fillmore Men, beginning at 10.52 a.m. and ending at 11.22 a.m. This is a required weekly test. This is only a test for Fillmore County MN. This is a test of the emergency activation system. The following is only a test. This concludes this test of the emergency activation system. If this had been an actual emergency, you would have been informed where to tune in your area for further information. KVSH serves the Valentine Operational Area in Cherry County, Nebraska, and Todd County, South Dakota. This concludes this test of the emergency activation system. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Santa Barbara CA, beginning at 9.12 a.m. and ending at 9.27 a.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. No action is needed. This is only a test.
The following is a required weekly test of the emergency alert system, originating from the Missouri State Highway Patrol in Jefferson City and coordinated with the local broadcasters in your community. This is only a test. Alert system of the inland northwest area. In the event of an actual emergency, broadcasters would be bringing you important public safety information. of the Emergency Alert System from the Snohomish County Department of Emergency Management. Had this been an actual alert, this system would bring you important information. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Washington beginning at 2.01 p.m. and ending at 3.01 p.m. This is a test. This is only a test of the emergency alert system in Washington State issued by the Washington State Emergency Operations Center. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. The following tones will conclude this test from the Washington State Emergency Operations Center. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Clark W.A., Clackamas O.R., Columbia O.R., Monoma O.R., and Washington O.R., beginning at 3.21 p.m. and ending at 5.21 p.m. This is a required weekly test of the emergency alert system issued by Clark Regional Emergency Services Agency. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm device and the emergency alert system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, 
specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending severe weather and or hazards in north central Kentucky. Tests of these receivers are normally conducted every Tuesday between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. local time and every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon local time. When there is a threat of or existing severe weather in the area, the test is postponed until the next available non-severe or hazard day. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service Office in Louisville from a transmitter in Frankfurt on a frequency of 162.5 MHz. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for watches and warnings affecting the following counties. In North Central Kentucky, Anderson, Franklin, Henry, Owen, Scott, Shelby, and Woodford. This is a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm device and the emergency alert system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending severe weather and or hazards in South Central Indiana and North Central Kentucky. Tests of these receivers are normally conducted every Tuesday between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. local time and every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon local time. When there is a threat of or existing severe weather in the area, the test is postponed until the next available non-severe or hazard day. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service office in Louisville on a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for watches and warnings affecting the following counties. In South Central Indiana, Clark, Floyd, Harrison, Jefferson, Scott, and Washington. In North Central Kentucky, Bullitt, Henry, Jefferson, Nelson, Oldham, Shelby, Spencer, and Trimble. This concludes the test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm and an emergency alert system. We now return you to regular programming. This is a test of the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Operational Area Emergency Alert System. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Texas Department of Public Safety. The Tyler Police Department is searching for Audrey Lee, white, female, 7 years old, 3 feet 0 inches, 40 pounds, brown hair, blue eyes, last seen wearing a mustard-colored shirt and light-colored blue jeans and Ella Lee, white, female, 9 years old, 4 feet 0 inches, 60 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, last seen wearing a tan shirt with black lettering, black shorts, and baby blue high-top Converse shoes. Police are looking for Chase Lee, 33 years old, white, male, 5 feet 11 inches, 170 pounds, brown hair, blue eyes and last seen wearing a light colored shirt, blue jeans, and khaki color hey dude shoes, in connection with their abduction. The suspect is driving a white, 2007, Chevrolet, avalanche with black trim with several Galveston Beach access stickers on the front windshield bearing Texas license plate number DXV6695. Law enforcement officials believe these children to be in Grief or Tyler Police Department at March 1, 1935, 1000. News media point of contact is Tyler Police Department at February 6, 1935, 9310. 
The following message is transmitted at the request of the Texas Department of Public Safety. The Tyler Police Department is searching for Audrey Lee, a seven-year-old white female. She is three feet zero inches tall, 40 pounds, with brown hair, blue eyes, and was last seen wearing a mustard-colored shirt and light-colored blue jeans. The police are also searching for an Ella Lee, a nine-year-old white female. She is four feet zero inches tall, 60 pounds, with brown hair, brown eyes, and was last seen wearing a tan shirt with black lettering, black shorts, and baby blue high-top Converse shoes. Police are looking for Chase Lee in connection with their abduction. He is a 33-year-old white male. He is 5 feet 11 inches tall, 170 pounds with brown hair, blue eyes and was last seen wearing a light-colored shirt, blue jeans, and khaki color hey dude shoes. The suspect is driving a white 2007 Chevrolet Avalanche with black trim with several Galveston Beach access stickers on the front windshield bearing TX license plate number DXV6695. Law enforcement officials believe these children to be in grave or immediate danger. If you have information regarding this abduction, call the Tyler Police Department at 9035 March 1st, 1000. system.